welcome back to the channel metal marty mac back with another video guys um uh, this this is going to be a, a year video as you've probably seen the thumbnail this is going to be 1989 so i was listening to a few albums the other day and I just noticed that they were from 89 i said that's a fucking great year let's just see what i have in my collection from 1989 so i've gone through all my cds cassettes and vinyls and uh, there's quite a few from 89 didn't realize there was so much so i'm just going to quickly going to show you i'm not going to talk too much about the albums because it'll be here forever in a day so i'm just going to fly through them so um yeah okay up first i'm going to show you the cassettes i'm going to do this abcd the whole way down so a first up aerosmith pump pump was released in 1989 this is the one with uh Loving an elevator and all that sort of jazz on it. Not my cup of tea, but yeah. Also, Annihilator from Canada released their debut album, uh, Alice in Hell. Pure classic. Everybody knows that one. It's great. You might just see that on uh, on vinyl as well. Coming up here. First up on vinyl. No CDs of A's. I'll let you know anyway as I go. So A first was uh, Acid Rain, The Fear. This is uh, Acid Rain's debut album, UK Trash Band. Absolutely love this album. Love Acid Rain. Uh, Flexions of Truth, Human Eye, the single, uh, the 10 inch of that up there, The Fear, Blind Aggression, Life and Forms, riffs and that, class, classic stuff from Acid Rain. <clears throat> up next, now this one I didn't know until this year, this uh, High Roller Records put out this album, but, uh, Apollo Ra, uh, Ra Pariah, so this is a, a US, uh, US power metal band and it's absolutely excellent, if you can see this, it was cheap. Check it out and maybe you'll pick it up. It's really, really good stuff. Okay, also on the A's, we have the classic Severed Survival from Autopsy. Absolutely brilliant. Love this. Absolutely love it. Autopsy, nothing really much to say about Autopsy. Everybody knows Autopsy. Okay, let's do some B's. B's. Okay, B, up first. Badlands, Jakey Lee, Ray Gillen. Can't remember the name of the other guys. Uh, this is a good album. Good hard rock album, some good singles on it as well. Remember this come out, this is all over Headbangers Ball. You'll see that in a second on uh, vinyl as well. Uh, so Badlands, okay, on cassette as well. Bad English come out, their debut album, John Waits and the guy from Journey, Steve, whatever his name is, I think he's in, in Bad bad English. So yeah, when I see you smile was the big single of that one. Okay, more cassettes. This one I picked up or this morning found it. Didn't hear this one yet, just... I don't know, just the look of it, it's just putting me off. So this is Bitches Brew, B-R-U-E. The album is called We We Might Not Be American, But We Still Rock. Yeah, I have no interest in that, even trying it. I don't think anybody wants that, just give me a shout. Classic, classic album next. Black Sabbath, Tony Martin, The Headless Cross. What a fucking, what a great album. I need this on vinyl, Gates of Hell, Headless Cross, Devil and Daughter, with Deck Calls. Genius, brilliant, absolutely brilliant album, I love it. Okay, let's go to some vinyls. Bolt Throwers, The Realm of Chaos came out. Great album by Bolt Thrower. Uh, they do get better from Bolt Thrower as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, but yeah, that was a great album from Bolt Thrower. Good stuff. Really great year, 89. 16 years old in 89. And so a lot of this stuff was only coming out. And I was only getting into metal. Well, getting into metal. But I was in metal for a few years at that stage. But uh, yeah, it was so much, so much. It was like a fucking sponge, man, sucking up all this new stuff. It was great. There is some stuff here I wouldn't have heard in 89. Obviously, Blind Guardian. F uh, Follow the Blind. It's the one with uh, Valhalla on it. Yeah, I love that song. But uh, yeah, great band. <laughs> great European power metal band, Blind Guardian. Everybody knows. There's that Badlands album again. Have the vinyl of it. I know it goes for a lot of money for some strange reason. It's a good album. The Voodoo Highway one I have as well on vinyl and cassette, but I, I think it's a better album. But uh, yeah, this has got some good stomp, some good songs on it. Jade song, Winter's Call was one of the singles of it. Good album, good album. At the same time, not crazy. The worst thing with this video is going to be putting all this shit back. But anyway, that's my my problem. Okay, some C's, some uh, cassette C first. Uh, the Cult put out Sonic Temple. It's the one with Fire Woman on it. Good album. Good, good band of cult. I'd, I'd, I'd like a cult vinyl box set, especially with electric. I'd love that. I have it on CD, but I'd love the vinyl. Sorry. Okay, any more C cassettes? One more, and I will be showing you the vinyl of this. So this is the Tales of Creation by Candlemas, one of my favorite bands. I'm sure a lot of people know that, but I absolutely adore Candlemas, and that's a great album. Okay, C vinyls. C C C. From Switzerland, are they? Trash metal. Uh, Corner, no more color. These are absolute fucking gems. The first, first three, any, and maybe the fourth one even green. 
But uh, yeah, Coroner, great band. That's a great album, No More Colour. Uh, another band I was only introduced to do recently, I knew of the band, but I, I only picked up some of their stuff recently and I picked up one or two of their vinyls. But this one here, uh, Assault and Ransom by Clovenhoof, came out in 89. Uh, US power metal slash heavy metal band. Excellent stuff. This is another High Roller Records that was pretty cheap and is worth having a listen to if you don't already know it. Uh, where are we now? We're still on the sea, sorry. Carcass put out Symphonies of Sickness in 89. Beast of an album. Changing style a wee bit for Carcass, but uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Great release. There's the aforementioned uh, Candlemas Tales of Creation uh, under the Oak. Dark Reflections into the Unfathomed Tower. Ah, brilliant. Brilliant album. Brilliant album. I must have Heavy Metal Messiah album. All that whole era was just amazing. Okay, going to the cassettes. D. On D now. Let's hurry up. Damn Reed Network and Slam. I bought this cassette myself. I remember buying it because of the uh, Tiger and Address from Rainbow Child songs that was on on the TV all the time back then. DCDs, Dream Theater's debut album came out in '89. Uh, what's it called again? Blah, blah, blah. When Dreams and Days Unite. Good stuff. It, you can see what was coming from Dream Theater after that. So good stuff. So uh, D. Uh, yeah, D on the vinyls. Drive Cease, she said. Have this on cassette as well. Uh, so this is a two two piece. Uh, this is on uh, music for nations. This was some hard rock, so me melodic hard rock. Uh, it was good stuff though. It's actually very good. Uh, I think one of these guys died in the band. Mark Mangold, Al Fritz. I don't know which one of the guys died, but yeah, I don't think they released too many releases. But that was a good album. This 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 a decent album. Also in the D's we have great album. Acid or acid? I'm gonna say acid rain again. Dri trash zone, absolutely great. The, 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 I think it's the fourth album. Let's go through them. But yeah, this is this is this is a banging of an album, full of riffs. You want to learn how to play riffs, guitar riffs, trash riffs? That's the album. Also, we had the third album by Death Row from uh, Germany, I believe. Deception ignored. This was a bit of a change from their first two albums, but still, they got a bit more technical. But still, a decent album. I do prefer the first two. They're a bit more. Raw trash. Sorry, I'm just trying to stack that pile of vinyl tidy so it won't go flying all over the place. Uh, blah. Lots of stuff here. Okay, we're on the E's. Let's take an E. Exodus, fabulous disaster. Uh, Toxic Walls is on this. Uh, that low rider, fabulous disaster self. Couple of couple of poopy songs on it, but yeah, decent album from from uh, Exodus. I think this is a picture disc. Uh, version of it as well so that was e any more e's okay no more e's enough e's okay we're on the f's so on cd first up we have a uh, uk hard rock band this is a great album this was this was all over the tv the, the singles of this uh bad luck someday every time i think of you don't stop tough it out i i really like this album this is a great album uh so it's a uh, fm tough it out Steve Overland on vocals and brother play guitar. Steve Overland still singing away and he's still fantastic. What a great vocalist he was. And there's the there's the vinyl of it as well. And I have a couple of twelve inch singles from that. But yeah, FM Tough It Out. That was a great album. There is lots of stuff I'm missing from this from uh, eighty nine and it's just by doing this list I've noticed it and there will be some I'm gonna be trying to pick up somewhere. Uh next up we have the second album by Fifth Angel. Which is upside down in the cover for some in the plastic for some reason, but yeah, second album from Fifth Angel, bit of a difference, bit of a more hard rock feel than our first album was a bit more heavy metal, but uh, nonetheless, it's a great album. Really, really like this album, Cathedral, Midnight Love, Seven Hours, yeah, good stuff. Good album by Fifth Angel. Time will tell. Uh, Fate's Warning put out uh, Perfect Symmetry in nineteen eighty nine. Uh, through different eyes, uh, Arena Chasing Time. Nothing left to say. One of my favorite bands as well. I'm really into the progressive metal, as you probably can gather. But uh, yeah, Fates War and Perfect Symmetry come out. Uh, massive, massive commercial album. It was massive in this. There was, there was so many singles out of this. It was crazy. So uh, Fate No More, The Real Thing came out. Uh, I, I, they probably released nearly every song of this as a single. If not, half of them at least or more in here. But yeah, great album from Fate No More. It's the only Fate No More album that I really, really do like. A lot, like if you know what I mean. So next up, we are on to G's. Just checking their CDs, no, no cassettes, no. So next up, we have G. This uh, 
I'll take this off the shelf. This is a Guitar Masters album that was out in Roadrunner Records. Uh, Marty Freeman, Racer X, uh, Vicious Rumors, Apocrypha, Joey Defola, Dr. Mastermind. Uh, yeah, it's just a lot of guitar noodly shit. A uh, bit of industrial uh, street cleaner by Godflesh came out in 89. Out in Eric, this is a repress, obviously. But uh, yeah, G, 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 H. Let's go to H cassettes. We've got two H's. First up, Halloween released live in the UK. Great little live album, some great tracks on that. Very good quality, great, and I'd love that in vinyl. Next up, another guitar piece on Roadrunner. This is Howie. Howie 2 High Gear. Don't think I've actually ever heard this one. Might listen to it now when it's off the shelf. Uh, back to the vinyls. We have the second album by Hydra, UK Trash Band. So this is Hydra After the Dream. Decent band. The, the two albums that I have, that one and the first one, are really, really good. I really like Hydra. Just really decent UK trash. Please don't fall. Okay, we are going to the eyes. Didn't know this album till this morning. So this is by a band called It Bites, Eat Me, Eat Me in St. Louis. Had a listen to it. It's all right. It's kind of soft rock, hard rock, kind of Marillion-esque kind of stuff. Uh, won't be listening to it again. So if anybody's looking for that, it's there. Uh, let me see. I, I, on the vinyls, I, just a one. Bit of trash metal. I don't show where these guys are from. Are they Belgian or something? Maybe they're American, not sure. A Higher Form of Killing is what I'm actually listening to in the background. Decent album that as well by uh, Intruder. I J one J. I better hurry up. There's a lot of albums here. Joe Satriani's Flying in a Blue Dream. Decent album for a guitar noodly album. K first K we have on cassette is Kiss. Kiss put out uh, Hot in the Shade. Don't know any of the tracks of that offhand because I can't read them. But uh, yeah, that came out. Kings X released their second album. Uh, brilliant album. Uh, Gretchen goes to Nebraska. Absolutely love King's X. Talking about a brilliant band. Musicians. First class. A few Ks. King Diamond released his third album, I believe. Conspiracy. It's the one with Sleepless Nights. Uh, what can you say about King Diamond's quality stuff? An absolutely banging trash album by Creator. Extreme Aggression. Uh, no Reason to Exist. Betrayer. Uh, Extreme Aggression. Yeah. Such a great, great album. Absolutely love it. Sorry if I'm rushing, but there's a good lot of stuff here. Uh, L, I'll do the cassettes first. Little Angels from the UK put out Don't Pray On Me. That's the one with Do You Wanna Riot. Remember the video with the ice hockey. Uh, Lion put out Trouble in Angel City. Yeah, don't know that one. New to me, that one. Having a clue. Uh, next up, bit of trash metal, Bay Area trash. Uh, Laz Rocket had Annihilation Principle out. Uh, we are on some M's. Uh, Season's End. Marillion put out that. I wasn't sure about this was it 89 or not, but um, I believe it is. But if someone can let me know if it's not. Uh, Mr. Big put out their debut album. Uh, Mr. Big, it's called. It's another vinyl I would like as well. So that was a good album too. Addicted to that rush. Uh, is it Paul Gilbert? Is that the name of the guitar player in them? And uh, what do you call him? Billy. Billy Sheen, Mr. Big, good album. M's, there's probably a few records of M's, let's go. Uh, first up is a Metal Hammer compilation, The Best of British Steel. It's a double vinyl, all UK stuff obviously. Sabat, Ratchild, Tattooed Love Boys, Reanimator, Mantis, Death Wish, Tiger Tales, Messiah, Dogs the More. I must actually give this a spin now, it's off the shelf again. It's been a while for that comp. Uh, Murphy's Law, bit of crossover trash from uh, obviously New York or somewhere like that. So yeah, I remember this as a child, I bought this recently. Uh, a couple of months back in an antique store but it, it's good it wasn't as good as i remember but uh it's good to have a bit of nostalgia feel this one is more of an ep that came out that year uh, resurrection of sore by morgot morgot released that uh, yeah yes lots of different styles of metal here 89 like everything was basically under the heavy metal moniker there wasn't so many sub genres you had trash and a bit of death metal coming but everything was lumped in the heavy metal you could be watching bon jovi next thing you'd see obituary next thing you'd see Poison or something on the TV, the videos, the way they were shown, because everything was much the same. Anyway, Australia, uh, Face of Despair by Mortal Sin. Another cracking second album by Mortal Sin. Absolutely great, I love that. Uh, Motley Crue had out uh, Dr. Feelgood. This is obviously from the box set, that's why there's no um, sleeve on it. 
getting some good albums coming out now. Yeah, none other than this one, man. Alters of Madness by Morbid Angel. Fucking beast of a debut. Absolutely love it. Dave Vincent, Pete Sandoval, Troy, ah, oh Jesus, Trey, not Troy. Uh, wow, what a classic death metal album that is. Uh, Mordred, fucking debut. Phil's Game, brilliant. Used to have this on cassette back in the day and I love it love it just a bit of a different with the be a bit of funk and stuff in it but uh yeah murdered fool's game savage stuff uh metal church the new metal church mike how uh blessing in disguise this is fucking savage album too this one with fake healer and badlands i'm sure everybody remembers the videos for those when the when they were out back in the day great stuff uh is there any more m's no ends okay Sorry if I'm talking real fast, but what can I do? Nuclear Salt had out Handle With Care. It's the one with Critical Mass on it. I'm just remembering all the videos at the time. This is, uh, Adrian sent me this. Adrian O'Brien with the uh, Live and Hammersmith songs on it as well. But uh, yeah, great trash album there as well. Uh, only got this last few months as well from Paul. So uh, Napalm Death. The, the John Peel sessions were out in 1989 as well. And uh, that's another N. Okay, let's go. Oh, so we're on the final still. So uh, UK trash band uh, onslaught and searches Andy. I love this album. I bought the reissue of it as well, so I can keep this uh, OG. Uh, you know, not wreck it by playing it, but uh, yeah. And searches Andy shells like lightning war, blood from the eyes, welcome to dying power play. Love it, love it. It's my favorite onslaught album. Although I haven't heard all the new albums, but that's that's a top album for me in '89 when I was growing up. It was. Uh, obituary's debut come out slowly we rot can't say anything about that album it's just amazing uh i've seen them this year live and they're just absolutely banging band uh overkill had out the years of decay uh how many of you just said email elimination there but uh yeah banging album from overkill that's from the box set as well why there's no uh, sleeve on that one yeah uh, oh m n n o we on P? I'm losing track. It's too much stuff. P. We've only got one P that I could find. Any, and it's Pestilence, Consuming Impulse, second album. These Dutch masters, Pestilence. Uh, prefer the first album, myself, personally. But uh, but this is just awesome. Old school death metal. The first album is a bit more trashy, but can't go wrong with that. Uh, OPQ. Just threw this in because it was there. Queen had out the miracle. This is the one with uh, I Want It All on it and Breakthrough. So, uh, yeah, 1989, Queen, the miracle. Okay, R, let's go. Let's fly through these. R. Okay, a recent uh, from Gary. Gary sent me this recently from Cryptic Blood. So, uh, this is the Ramones. They had Brain Drain out that year. Uh, bought this cassette myself back in the day. It was one of the very first Rush albums I bought. So this is Rush Presto. Absolutely know this album inside out. I've played it that much. I love it. It's a great album. I love that in vinyl. Also that year, Rush put out a show of hands live album. Great live album by Rush. Rush are brilliant live. I've never seen them live, but they're a great live on, on CD or whatever format. Uh, or Repulsion also put out Horrified. I'm sure a lot of people probably were horrified when this came out in that year. 1989 Was that out in 89? I'm questioning myself now because I can see a few different dates on it But anyway, yeah, still a great album If it was wrong, just let me know There's loads of different dates on the back of that album Because it was probably reissued, repressed so many times Q or S, we're on the S's Lots of S's I'd say First up, I listened to this this morning Bit of kind of glam rock uh, Sea Hags, self-titled Actually it's not too bad don't know if I'd listen to it again though. Skid Row come out with their debut album that year. This album was huge because of the singles as well. A great album from Skid Row. Uh, this one here, Steve Stevens, uh, Atomic Playboys. I don't know it. Um, never heard it, never listened to it. Probably won't because I don't know what Steve, who Steve Stevens was. I know he played in one of the big big glammy bands, but I don't know which one. Sepul or not Sepultura. Suicidal Tendencies had out controlled by Hatred. As well, that's from one of those box sets as well. But yeah, good album from Tendencies. Great stuff. On vinyl, we have the debut, or not the debut. 
Sepulture is beneath the remains. This is an OG copy. I think I did buy the repress as well. But uh, yeah, what a classic album. This, is, this was a lot of people's introduction, I'm sure, of Sepultura uh, in herself. Beneath the remains, strong earth, mass hypnosis, blah, blah, blah. What a great album. Classic trash album from Brazilian uh, Sepultura. Love it. Uh, Slammer. This is the reason I started doing this video in the first place because I listened to this Slammer album. UK band Slammer, uh, wow this is a great album, uh, The Work of Idle Hands, love it, brilliant UK trash band, excellent stuff, and this is the other album I was listening to, they put me on to 1989, and this is Sabat and Dreamweaver, second album by Sabat, absolutely beast, played this to death when I was young, when I was 16, when this came out, I absolutely love it, love their sound, love everything about this band, work, work yours, vocals, Andy Sneak guitar, Great, great album. Uh, the pile is getting down low, thankfully. Uh, another brilliant, amazing band, one of my favourites. Sabotage had got a ballet out that year. Uh, can't say anything about Sabotage apart from they're just fucking savage. Savage Sabotage. Uh, St. Vitus 4 came out that year as well. Scott Weinreich, uh, brilliant. Just I only picked this up this year, I think, in a bundle of St. Vitus stuff, but uh, just classic classic doom stuff from saint vitus saint vitus 5 v is v5 5 it is yeah okay t's i'm only two cassettes left t one album that came out this year in 89 and i would love to some vinyl i know it's a bitch to get i think uh so testaments practice what you preach what a great album love that uh one or two i found in me vinyls uh hard rock band treat organized crime come out that year um not sure where they're from are they american or the german or something and there's the german band here and i love this album the title track of this was on headbangers ball as well back in the day so this is uh behind the eight ball by uh thunderhead very dave menichetti yt vocals on that as far as i remember also the second album by toxic I think this came out that year so this is technical trash really done really well uh, still haven't heard the recent Toxic album, but uh, the first two albums are just, they're brilliant. Also, in the tees, we had the classic, classic album. I'm sure it's going to get a mention tonight by the boys uh, on the live stream. World Downfall by Terrorizer. Absolutely must-have record. Boys, we're nearly there. Thank God says you. S-T-U-V. We're on V. we go with the record first. So, this is Man of Straw by Viking more trash metal not sure where these guys are from but this is a banging album i think the one before it's meant to be even better i haven't got it but that's a great album uh, also on the v's we have on this blah cds we have lunacy by virus this was a recent enough purchase of me just three pack of lunacy great album great band uh, U V W W couple of cassettes of W so these two albums were out of this year as well so uh, the Headless Children by uh, Wasp was out I know there's a new Wasp box set out or coming out I'm definitely going to be thinking about buying that David Coverdale was giving you one when the slip of the tongue in 1989 as well yeah can't remember anything off that uh, Wolfsbane I wasn't sure about the date of this but uh, Live Fast Die Fast by Wolfsbane Blaze Bailey Great, 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 great rock and roll or heavy metal album, you know, call it. Good stuff. Whiplash also come out with uh, Insult to Injury. This is one I picked up recently thanks to uh, to Metal Mickey. So, uh, yeah, great, great trash band. Three great albums on this. Whiplash, Insult to Injury. Uh, w and X. This is one a lot of you will know it's going to come up. X, UK trash band. It's got to be there. It's one of my favorite albums out of this whole stack of stuff is Zentrix Shattered Existence. Oh my God, what an album. There's so many people waiting to get this on the reissue when it came out and uh, ah, Savage. It's an album I can play all the time. And the very last album is a Y. Does anybody want to guess what it is? Not everybody's favorite guy, but uh, this is a live album and it's a good live album too. Some great tracks on it as well. Jolyn Turner's on vocals. And it is uh, Ingwie Malmsteen's uh, Trial by Fire live in the Leningrad album. That's it, guys. That's all I have from 1989. As far as I'm aware, if I missed anything at that, this stage, I couldn't care because I have to put all that shit back. But, uh, yeah. Sorry it took so long. 
uh, God knows what time is on that when I go back to look at it and stop this video. But yeah, thanks for anybody who stuck with me. Um, I know I, I know I've missed a good lot of stuff, uh, a good lot of trash albums and heavy metal albums in this. But uh, the whole point of this was to see what I had. And I really enjoyed doing this. And I might do another year again, 88 or maybe 87, and just see see what I have. Because that was a haul. That was the, this probably the biggest video I've ever done, you know, amount of stuff. But, um, yeah, just let me know how it went. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, did I bore you to death? But um, that's it, guys. Cheers. I will chat to you all very soon in another video. Yeah, 89 was a great year. So uh, that's it. Salon. Talk to you soon. Bye.